Today we're going to be looking at how to create a particle effect in Photoshop. Hey guys, it's Connor here from Quick Edits. Today we're going to be looking at how to create this simple particle effect in Photoshop just by using a couple of brushes and some masks. As always, I'll talk you through it step by step. Let's jump into Photoshop and make a start. For this effect, I've chosen this image of Elliot. Uh, this is the one we're going to use to make him turn into particles. We're going to break him off on the edges here and we're going to have him building up around in the dead space here. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already cut out Elliot on a, on his own layer here, so he's got no background. So you're going to need to do that for whatever image you're, you're going to want to do this effect on too. So make sure you've got an isolated layer. If you want to know how to isolate something on a, on his own layer without any background, then uh, just watch my uh, pen tool tutorial and I'll uh, talk you through how to do that. But for this one, we're just going to jump in with this single layer here. Okay, so to start this simple effect, uh, the first thing you need to do is have two versions of your layer of your image. So once you clicked on your layer, just press Command J and that's going to duplicate it and you have two now. And we're going to hide the one underneath and just work on the one on top. The way we're going to build in our particles around our subject is by using the image we've got. So we want to be able to drag all of this image up towards the areas that we want to start adding some particles. And we're going to do that by using the liquify tool. So let's, let's do that. Head up to filter and down towards liquify. And once you've got this open, make sure you're on your forward warp tool up here and make sure your density is up to 100 and also your pressure. And just by using a decent sized brush, and we can just start pulling our image up towards the corners. Make sure you're covering all the sides just like that. I'm probably going to leave it there. I don't want to go too far. I'll leave it at the short side. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just keep dragging your image up towards the corner. And once you've done that and you're happy with that, maybe get some more of this color over here. And once you're happy with that, just click OK. And that's all we need to do for this layer for now. So we can just hide this and we can bring our bottom one back on top. And now we can work on this one. So this layer, we're going to start actually erasing some of this uh, edges here on Elliot. So we're going to use a brush. The brush I'm going to be using uh, doesn't come native in Photoshop uh, again, but I will add it down in the description for you to download. It's a free broken glass Photoshop and we just click that. Whoops. And well, there we go. You can see what this brush does. It gives you a really nice broken glass uh, effect. So I'm just command it down and make it smaller by pressing my close bracket. And before we start on this, we need to apply a mask onto our layer. So once you click new layer, this icon down here is going to add on a mask just like that. And right now the mask is set to white. So we need to make sure our foreground color is on black. So we're painting black onto white. And we can just start erasing the sides of Elliot here. I don't want to get too many harsh edges. I'm going to make sure I'm changing the size of my brush as well to get the variance to the other side. It's up to you how far you want to take this. Uh, you don't have to do that much, but I just want to make sure I don't have any harsh edges here, especially on these arms. So I might just make, make it a little bit bigger for the arms. And I think that's that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. So now we've erased the particles on Elliot. We need to start adding them now uh, around him. So we're going to use the layer we made just underneath with our liquify. And we're going to add on another mask. So make sure you click on the layer and click mask. But this time I want to be on full black, so I'm going to go to our paint bucket, make sure I'm set to black, and I'm set, I'm clicked onto my mask, and I'm just going to click there, and that's going to erase everything. We're going to add it in using our brush, make sure your foreground is set to white, and we can just start building in the particles here. You can see how that's working there. And I want mine to be larger towards the center, and then ever so slightly smaller towards the edges, just like that. It's up to you how far you want to take it, but I'm pretty pleased with how that's looking there. And once you've done that, you can see just down here, we've got some harsh edges. Uh, so that's, that's where our, our uh, liquify has ended there. Let me just disable the mask. You can see that this is where our liquify ends. So we don't want these harsh edges. So what I'm going to do is go back to my brush. I'm going to invert my color back to black, and that's going to start erasing what we've added in. I'm just going to start getting rid of some of these harsh edges again. Just keep clicking away until you're happy with the result you've got. And I think I'm pretty pleased with that. 
Okay, and now you can see how our particles uh, come into effect here and it looks pretty good. Now there's a couple of things I do want to change. Uh, I don't like the fact that we don't see much of uh, Elliot here, uh, especially on his face here. So I want to start bringing some of that back. I'm going to go back up to our top mask up here and I'm going to make sure we're set to white once again. And I'm just going to start bringing in some of the details back onto his face. Just like that and maybe down here as well. Onto the hands. Just bring in as much as you want. I just wanted to see a little bit more of the face and I'm pretty pleased with that. You can see that the colors are starting to come through uh, with our particles here and that's because we've used the uh, the same image for the liquify as well. So the, the colors you see in here is Elliot's face being stretched across the whole background there. But we can go ahead and change that as well. So you want to add on a layer uh, in between your both layers here. So click on a layer there and then go back to your brush and this time let's just go back to our soft uh, brush here and we can just start playing with some colors so let's go into some colors here maybe a, change these to a dark dark blue into the center uh, size up your brush using your brackets and then you can just start painting in some of these here I know it doesn't look too good right now but then maybe change it to a lighter towards the edges then even lighter again. You guys have a nice gradient there. And once you've done that, you can go to your blending options here. Right now we're set to normal. If you change that down to overlay, you can see that it's given a really cool uh, color effect onto your particles there. And just to add that final piece uh, of depth, we can just add one more layer, put them on top. I'm going to add a quick vignette as well. So we're going to grab your selection tool and we're going to go to paint bucket make sure we set to black select inverse so we're selecting the edges click deselect filter blur gaussian blur make sure that is up the top just like that press ok and bring down that opacity and that's going to give us a nice gradient on the background there and i'm really pleased with how that's looking uh, there we go guys that's a really quick simple way to create a particle effect in Photoshop just by using some masks and some brushes as well. As always guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Please drop a like and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.